All right, so I'm in my uh, soon-to-be office insulating the walls, and I'm doing what's called a dense pack. So a dense pack can give a tube like this. Um, so this is stepped down from a three-inch hose at the machine to this is, uh, I think, a one-inch inside diameter. And uh, this hose is presently about six feet into this wall. Um, so the whole thing with dense pack is you, uh, when you first put it in, you have to get a good chunk of insulation in, but what dense pack means is, if you've ever heard the phrase three pounds of crap in a two pound box, that's what you're doing. You're trying to put the cellulose in more densely than it wants to be, and then it won't settle. If you don't dense pack, like a year or two later, if you look with infrared, you'll get like an eight to 12 inch hole at the top of the, the wall where it settles down, where if you pack it in there crazy tight, um, but it won't settle and it will continue to do its job for a long, long time to come. Uh, but the trick to dense pack is once you get a space to fill, as you can see it's filling now, um, once you get it close, you work the hose back and forth. So you pull it out and you push it back in. And you pull it out and you push it back in. So when you pull out, you open up a little you know, gap of you know, six, eight inches long with the size of the hose. Um, and then it fills that, and then, oh, there we go. And you jam it back in until it stops blowing, like that. And you pull it out, and then you jam it back in, and you keep working it back and forth. And when you do this a lot, like this, this wall is a pain in the focus. Um, I'm 16 or 20 hours into blowing this, and I've gone 35 feet, uh, which is obscene. Um, but it's because this wall is nine inches thick, um, and it's really, really difficult to dense back. Um, but when you do this, um, every time you, you shove it in and pull it back out, and shove it in and pull it back out, you're pushing it beyond its natural density, and now it won't settle. So this is really critical. And so what I say is, um, with dense pack insulation, the results are 100% in the hands of the guy on the hose doing the work. Um, so this is something you want to be very careful choosing uh, installers for. And the biggest thing that I can say to recommend is uh, look for someone who does weatherization work, uh, weatherization assistance program, uh, because they do uh, low income work and dense pack is like a really, really common measure. And they go, at least in Ohio, and check after the fact with infrared and see if everything got hit. Uh, so the guys that do that are typically pretty good at it. Um, but this is, it's tedious, it takes a while, and you have to know what you're doing. Um, but the work itself is pretty simple. Um, but if you dense pack, this is pretty much the best way to insulate a closed wall um, in almost all instances. So despite the fact that there's all kinds of new technologies out there, this has been around for 70 or 80 years. It's cellulose is recycled newspaper. Um, this is still by far my favorite. Uh, the technique. And if you want to read more about all the different types of insulation, uh, chapter four of my book is all about uh, insulation types. Uh, the home comfort book. So that's one you have to buy the book to find out. But um, um, I used to be an insulation contractor, so I know how to do this work. And dense pack is critical. So hopefully this is helpful when you get to see what it is. And you get to watch me struggle just a little bit with this. But this ain't nothing compared to what's coming in a few minutes. Um, but thanks for watching. I'm Nate the House Whisperer. Have a great day.